Big Mountain Gold Trap. What am I working on today? Well, give me a second, I'll show you. Alright, so the inventory pile kind of gets bigger, but <laughs> orders come in and they they go down. The boxes go down in height. But I've got a uh, large one, small one, those are in the in progress. That one sold and going to be uh, delivered, well, picked up. I've got to meet the guy. I'm going to meet him on Saturday or Sunday. And I've got a small one over here that's sold also. That is to another person from here in Vermont. And I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but I do believe you're the one that commented on a video. So that one's yours and curing right now. But today, I've been working on stuff that slows me down, getting the uh, shipping styrofoam cut. I've still got to replenish the one for the 23-inch pay streak finder. And just a really slow day. I've got uh, wonderful arthritis in my neck, and it's bothering me today. It started yesterday, late afternoon. But this I did yesterday morning. I've got some interesting goodies here. I got some uh, some pay dirt from Z Rich Coins, thanks to HD Shovelhead who turned us all on. Anybody that saw his video, and uh, he mentioned how you want to be really careful when you pan this stuff out because there is quartz in it, and a lot of the pieces of quartz have gold stuck to it. So he said, uh, Green Mountain, thank you so much for su for supporting the channel. I hope you get some awesome stuff in this. Stay safe and healthy. Z-Rich Coins. And I did indeed. Now, a lot of people would be disappointed, I think, if they uh, saw what they get out of it for gold. But you shouldn't be, because specimens bring the value up far more. So let me turn this on. And we will record. There we go. So, you take a look at some of this stuff here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the gold on it. That one's got just a little piece of gold in the back corner over here. Same with that one. Look at that. Beautiful. Up until now, I've never seen a specimen in person, or found one for that matter. So not only did I get this, but he had said how he has specimens that he sells. So I think I bought his biggest one that he had, that he was showing. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Look at that one. <laughs> and check that out. That's connected, folks. That is connected to that piece of quartz that looks like a tooth, almost. That is amazing. It kind of looks like the head to an animal of some sort. Now that's pretty damn cool right there. That is cool. So that brings your value up with what you get in his pay dirt. Sure, you might not get a lot of uh, placer gold, loose gold that's not on the host rock, but you're going to get, and they're not very big pieces by any means, as you can see, you know, they're not too big, but they're nice specimens. 
It's very nice specimens. And it'll all go good with the rest of my gold. No, one at, oh yeah, I'm also working on pins. And once again, shout out to HD Shovel Ed who made it much easier for me to do these. And I'm working on tubes today. Time consuming. HD Shovel Ed was nice enough who works in a machine shop and runs CNC machines to make that for me. He even CNC Green Mountain Gold Trap in it. You put your pin inside there and you drill your hole. It keeps the pin in place. Very cool. Very cool. But anyway, this is the specimen that I bought. And it is beautiful. Look at that. And of course the camera doesn't like to focus. We'll put it underneath here so you can see it. It's going to make it look mega big, but it's not, see? It's a good size. But that piece inside the quartz weighs 1.87 grams. Let me get that in focus. And I'll hit record again because this doesn't look too good. There we go. Look at that. That gold looks like it's absolutely pure. Our gold here in Vermont is, what, 92.5 to 93 carat. Folks, that looks like it's, or not 90, 22, 22.5 to 23 carat here in Vermont. This looks to me like it's 24 carat. I mean, like, just as rich as rich can be. That is just beautiful. Man. Let's turn it around. Jeez. Let me flip it over too. Because there's a nice hunk of gold on the back of it. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> Gotta love it. So that's what I wanted to show y'all. Very nice, very nice, and I'm going to put, um, I'll probably put these or some of them right in with that specimen, but anyway, also I have to go through, once this dries up, I'll, I'll use the, uh, the Tomlov to inspect all of these pieces and all of these pieces, just to make darn sure I'm not throwing any gold away, but anyway. So I've got to get back to work. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. It's raining today here, which means more snow is melting. It's like in the 40s right now, low 40s. So rain and 40 degrees, that snow is melting. And it's getting them rivers moving, and hopefully the ice is getting off. I'd like to take a ride. Maybe I will. But anyway, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. All right, so Rich, I was really happy with that. Everybody else, go check out Z Rich Coins and get you some. We all love gold, right? Catch you all later. 165 holes later. Okay, they got to be cleaned with acetone. Any volunteers?
to survive.